Seven things you need to do to get your house ready to sell. It's important that you understand why this is important. Woe is the seller who thinks their house is worth a million dollars and they haven't done a thing to make it presentable or sellable. You can put your house on market. Absolutely. Don't do a darn thing. You're going to get what the market will bring you, right? The seller nor the agent will ever dictate what the price is. You can negotiate it and hope to get that way up. But the best way to get your house sold quickly, especially in our area, is to make sure they list it low so you bring in a lot of buyers. That being said, unless you're a market maker and these big luxury houses are market makers, you want to bring the market to you. So you want to make it attractive and comparable to other houses that they might be looking at, which is why we have this home buyer checklist. When you look at houses, buyers are not just gonna to go to your house. They're gonna to go to four, five, six, seven houses. When you have a checklist like this, they get to print it out and go to those different houses and compare and contrast differences between your house and the competing neighbors' houses that are for sale based on price, condition, location, and everything else. Condition is one of the most important things, which is why we have this home inspection checklist. You want to make it look like a model home. If you're going to sell your house, use the rule of three. No more than three things on any surface. The wall, the shelves, everything. Every surface gets maximum three. So you see there's a little picture of me my son there there's two little awards that i got it's all about making it look like it's presented declutter get rid of everything if you looked at my closet you would be completely freaked out as to how messy it is if i ever went to go sell my house i would bring in a bunch of boxes throw 90 percent of it in there and make it look presentable easy as that is but it's true deep clean your home and that goes without saying i just swept up my floor i have to do it every day because i have a husky and she sheds a pillow of hair every day but it goes even deeper than that you want to get into the crevices of your windows you want to get all the cobwebs out hire a professional cleaning service to do all the deep cleaning the tubs the caulking toilets the appliances all the different corners everything the windows quick thing on that is when you're washing the windows take the screens off wash the screens make sure that they're in good condition and then put them aside in the garage because you're going to let in that much more light and you don't have to risk putting them back in and them breaking no house is perfect no house is perfectly square no house is perfectly level or plumb. I'll guarantee you that appliances break, light bulbs break, faucets needs to be fixed, different little things. I can tell you I have a list about 20 or 30 things that I need to get done around the house. It's a busy time of the year for me, so I'm not doing anything. I'll get around to it eventually. Painting is smart. If you can't touch it up because the wall's faded or chipped, fix up your house, make it look good. If there's chips and you paint it and then it's a different color because the wall has faded over time, paint the whole wall. But do paint, do clean it up, see what you can do. Like my pantry door has kid grease all over it when they put their hands on it. I have to clean it, but it's getting to the point where it's wearing down. So I'm going to put a fresh coat of paint on it eventually. Try staging your house. Again, the rule of three, make it look big, airy, and bright. You want to make sure every ounce of light comes in and you have it decluttered. Take excess furniture out, give it a purpose. This is an office. 